Hello everyone, welcome back to the second part of making a YouTube video with Bandicam. Alright, for the second part, you're going to need a video editor program. Now, you're probably thinking, um, those are expensive, there's no way, and there's no good free ones. And, I can partly agree with you, but then I can also say you're wrong, because there is a pretty decent one that is free, and I'm going to show you how to get it. Now, this is not illegal, this is not, you know... Oh, come here, download this cracked um, version or whatever. This is going 100% legal and free. So, and it's not like you're probably thinking this isn't, this better not be a cheap, you know, ripoff or whatever. It's not. So, open up your browser. For me, that'd be Google Chrome and type in um, video pad, oops, pad, pad, video edit. Editor, editor, for free, and I misspelled video, I missed the letter, I think I still misspelled it, yeah I did, okay so, now you're going to have to do that, and I'll tell you the reason why in a minute, so you're going to click here, and um, you come to the NCH software, and you're going to download the free version, bam, you're done. Super easy and simple. So you just click download the free version here, and it'll start downloading. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just cancel. Or oh, it's already done. Whatever. I already have it done, so it doesn't matter. All right. Then you're gonna install it. And uh, the reason why you have to type that in is because there's something weird with the website. And I could just go to um n c h software dot com video pad index and look it's not there suddenly it's not there but if I type it in I get the one that is there I really don't know why um, it just it just is that way oops oh, come on didn't mean to do that it just is that way and I don't know why so or you could not even do that and uh, you just go here get it now and after a 17 day trial is over it'll ask you if you want to uh, install the just Go downgrade to the free version, or if you uninstall it, it'll ask that as well. Doesn't really matter. Either way, you're gonna get a free editor. So, um, I know what that is. All right. So next, you're gonna go into VideoPad and open up some footage. So we're gonna go into the footage. Come on. Now, what do we want? We want documents and Bandicam. Here it is. So here we go. And I'm gonna scroll down until I find some good footage. Um, I should have some Skyrim footage here. I want some Skyrim footage. Um, you know, what? we're just gonna go ahead and get some Battlefield Three footage. What is this? Exactly? Uh, I don't know what this one is. This is uh, one I used before. And here it is. Here's the footage, and I hope you heard that. No, I don't actually think you're going to be able to hear it. So, um, this doesn't have any commentary in it. Um, I did a post commentary by hitting narrate, and I'm going to go over that in a second. Okay, so here it is. Let's stop it. Alright. <clears throat> so, here is your video editor. This is a free, wonderful program. Uh, you can upgrade if you want, but you know you don't really need to. So I'm going to go over my um, uh, rendering settings and um, other features. So, first of all, as you see, there's an Add Media button, which we did. Uh, this, um, and we get media. Next, we're going to go down to this thing here. And we go to Effects, and we can choose it. You know, We can mess with the... Uh, we can crop it. We can rotate it. Which is pretty funky, um, as you can see. And we'll just, uh, how do we, no, 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 I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to rotate. You can zoom, um, you know, choose an area you want to zoom on. So, say I got an epic kill feed or something, and I was doing a real quick video on night. Just zoom in like that, and, uh, be like, yeah, look, there's my epic kill feed, um, Yeah. So, then auto zoom, speed, edge detection. That's pretty weird, but kind of cool. 
crop brightness. You can turn the brightness all the way up. And you're like, wow, we're all the way down. Or like dark or like light. Dark kind of look pretty cool. Anyway, yeah, remove all effects. Um, auto zoom, edge detection, black and white. Kind of like an old movie hue, which you can do some pretty weird stuff with. Um, like that. I mean, that's pretty pretty weird. Um, hue cycle. Um, I don't really know what that does, but yeah, you can do it. Um, this one's pretty cool. Uh, oil painting. You know, all kinds of junk. They don't even really need saturation. This is kind of nice. You can make your video look kind of better. The color and stuff, the saturation on it, like that looks pretty good right there. And it looks a lot better than uh, what it might. Uh, you know, just you can add some color correction on it, make it look a little bit better. Waves. Never really done this, but that's pretty weird, and I wouldn't do it. Um, uh, sharpen, that's kind of nice, uh, but anyway, then transitions, like, if you had more than one clip, or for example, you split a clip, and we'll add a transition later, but anyway, um, so, yeah, so now we're gonna get into this part here, this is the clips you're using currently, video track, uh, transition, that's transitions, um, split, so basically, I can come in here, and, where'd my thingy, do hickey go, oh, there it is, so I could say, uh, I want to split it right here, just for whatever and yeah and I want to add a transition on this clip to this clip so I go here and then I would go into transitions and say I want to do like I don't know shatter okay and duration five seconds apply applying transition and I come here and I go hmm Hmm, what's going on? What? It just like shattered and of course because I didn't have another one in it It didn't look pretty cool like a transition, but whatever. I think I can take that off somehow, but You can take it off somehow, but I don't remember how and as you see I'm scrolling it like shows more and more and like I think you get into just like the frames or pretty close to the frames um, But I kind of like it like this to where I can see like everything not exactly like that but kinda like this um, it's kinda nice um so we're gonna get edit and we're undo undo and undo and undo so now the whole it's not split or anything so we're good alright now you can get this capture function where if you have like E capture card plugged in you can capture it and I don't have one plugged in I don't have one oh but I do have many games so whatever so I can just close that you can insert a blank thing so like say you're running long you can insert a blank screen and continue finish your commentary um, custom color black and white whatever um, you can record be like Blah 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 and there I just recorded a commentary and it comes down here. Now I'm gonna be like, I don't want that commentary, so I can remove it. Okay, um you can add subtitles, you'll be like Um Text, text. Um where do I Oh I have to like add it? Mm-hmm. He He died. And I can say that, and I can like move it around. I believe I don't know. I don't know how to move it around really. Um, but yeah, I can like point it there and size it up, or make it a little tiny, little tiny float. Okay. Um, let's close. Delete. Close. Okay. And then preview is like preview how good it's gonna look, maybe. And it's pretty bad. Blurry. Um, yeah. Uh, save movie in options. Options are like your media files, your plugin filters, and other stuff that I don't really know about. Um, so yeah. The general's gonna say where you're gonna save your file. I'm gonna say save movie. And this is the part I wanted to tell you about. Okay. So you're gonna go in here and go to AVI encoding settings and you're going to want to choose mpeg4 now there are ones that are better they look better such as mpeg compressor and i know i said not to use that when you're recording but when you're not when you're not recording you're just producing it it's perfectly fine it looks good it's not laggy 
uh, but you can get bigger file sizes and doesn't compress it that much. But uh, purpose of rendering is compressing. If you have like a four gigabyte file, you want to compress it, or it really depends on what kind of file you're actually compressing. And uh, hello, Super Llama. And um, MP3 suggestion, and I haven't messed with that at all. Um, video compression settings, you can say like how good you want it if you know K if you know KBS and that kind of thing. Um, 720 HD preset custom um, 30 frame rate. So, yep, that's it. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helps you out. And uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And we'll see you next time.